for me? No, sir. Where's the other operator? I don't know, sir. He left a few minutes ago. Well, he'll go back to straight duty for this. The fools left the gates open. Don't touch that switch. Kane Spy. That's right. Brought here by Colonel Rogers himself. Oh, so you stowed away in that patrol ship, did you? I should have had sense enough to search it. You won't have to worry long about that, Colonel. There's a full squadron of the leader's planes on the way here now. That squadron will be here any minute now. Uh, the airport guards will blast them to pieces before they land. I think you're mistaken. chances to attack Killer Kane immediately. He now knows the secret entrance to our city, and every hour we delay weakens our chances. I suggest, sir, that we contact our allies on Saturn immediately and ask their support. I said you might wait for Colonel Rogers, but no listening. Now move back from the door. Oh, gee, you don't think I'm one of Killer Kane's spies, do you? Well, we can't always tell. Now move back. Then it is the unanimous vote of this war council that we communicate with Saturn immediately, ask their promised support, and attack Kane's stronghold at once. We stand adjourned. You voiced my sentiments exactly. We radio Saturn from my laboratory. Yes, sir. Hey, Bud, can I come along? No, of course you can, old Taron. Saturn at once. But how can we hope to defeat Cain with so vast a force at his disposal? With Saturn's help, Wilma, we stand better than an even chance. Is the equipment in order? Yes, sir. It was checked only this morning. This is a catastrophe. The receiving set you left on Saturn is dead. We can't communicate with them. Maybe it's only turned off, sir. The set is dead. 
If there were any life at all, that lamp would flicker instead of burning steadily. We've got to get into communication with them. There's nothing I can do, Marshal. I've made two trips there already, sir. Looks like I'm going to have to make a third. You wouldn't stand a chance. After last night, the outer atmosphere will be swarming with Kane patrol ships. You couldn't make it in one of our ships. But I don't mean to take one of our own ships, sir. I'm going to take one of the captured Kane patrol ships. Patrol ship? They're not built for space journeys. I'm sorry, sir. I hadn't thought of that. I can fix that. I can have my technicians install extra rocket racks. You won't have a comfortable journey, but you'll get there. Stop them at work, sir. I'll be ready to take off as soon as the ship is in order. Oh, but, Buck, you don't mean to go alone. I'm afraid so, Wilma. I daren't take a single defender from the city. But you're wrong. Ah, the arm's all right. Now, don't you worry about it. See you before I go. So long, buddy. Oh, I'll be seeing you, Buck. to your stations. take off. I wish I'd seen Buddy. He's probably very busy at something or other. Yes, sir. Now, Wilma, I'm sorry you're not making this trip. So am I, Buck. We'll be expecting you back soon. <laughs> Dr. Hewer, I'll keep in constant communication with you, sir. Good. Goodbye. 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 speaking. Ship sighted coming up from the Hidden City Valley. Commander White speaking. Seven Squadron Patrol prepare for action against Hidden City ship. It's one of our scouts, sir. Cancel that last order. Ship identified as one of our scouts. Squadron Commander calling ship ZN-1. Squadron Commander calling ship ZN-1. ZN-1 answering. Go ahead, Commander. How did you manage to escape from Hidden City? What happened to the other ship? I did not broadcast my report, sir. Please advise all patrol ships ZN-1 en route to headquarters with urgent information. Squadron Commander calling all patrol ships. General orders. ZN-1 is an extra detail en route to Leader Kane's headquarters. Okay, buddy. You can come out anytime you want now. Say, how did you know I was in there? Well, when you're trying to hide out from somebody, be careful when you peek around corners. Oh, I get it. You saw me in the observation room. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Say, Bucky, you're not really going to Kane's headquarters, are you? Nah, I'll say we're not. Hey, buddy, you take the controls and keep her as she is. We're headed for the planet Saturn. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, the pressure's getting low. I'd better fry some more retarding rockets. Buck, can you do it with that bad arm? Ah, uh, the arms are right. Just keep her nose down at the same angle. Remember, 
remember your orders. Take them alive. As I remember it, that bullet railroad was over there, wasn't it, buddy? Yeah, I think so, Buck. be harmed. <laughs> now, what's this all about? I'm Colonel... Well, I'm Colonel Rogers from the Earth on an important mission for your government. Our orders are to detain all arrivals on Saturn, particularly people from Earth. But look, you don't understand. I've got to get to your form immediately. Prince Talon will vouch for us. It's because of what's happened to Prince Talon that we've been ordered to detain all strangers. What has happened? No more questions. Go ahead. Take one of them, buddy. Let me have it, buddy. Hurry, we've got to get to the farm. Wait a minute. Alaska. You mean Killer King's right-hand man? I, I thought he was right here in prison. He was when I left Saturn. That's a Kane spaceship. I'll bet he's behind whatever's happened to Prince Talon. Go on. Since our first contact with the people of the Earth, they have brought us nothing but trouble. Now a prince of royal blood has been stolen. His life threatened. While it is against the desire of every member of the Council, we are forced to accede to the wishes of Killer Kane's lieutenant. If we are to save the life of Prince Talon. I am reluctant to agree, but since it is to save our prince's life, I move that we... Wait, please. Aldar, you will not save Prince Talon by accepting Kane's terms. Once he's here on Saturn, he will kill your prince and enslave your people. Gentlemen, you're dealing with the vilest type of crime known to man, kidnapping. Why, we've fought it on Earth for centuries. Men capable of such a crime are without honor. Their words are worthless. And Killer Kane is the foulest of the lot. Why, your own experience with him should tell you that I speak the truth. Have you so soon forgotten what happened when you sent Prince Talon to the Earth to form an alliance with him? I sent for you because my patience is about at an end. You have all read the treaty which our good friend Prince Talon has brought from our sister planet, Saturn. It pleases me. Buddy, get a gravity belt from the rack we just passed. Are there any objections from the councilors? Then I submit it to you for your signatures. No one will sign that treaty, Kane. I'll take it. Cards! How did you get in here? We were here when you and Prince Talon entered the room. It's Buck Rogers. Who is Buck Rogers? He's a hidden city American who came to Saturn. Talon, you're not going to sign this treaty until I've had a chance to show you just why this man is called Killer Kane. Don't be a fool, Rogers. If you persist in this folly, my men will kill you. Not until I've shown Prince Talon just what you do with your prisoners, Kane. Get to the televite. Go on, move. Prince Talon, you go with him. 
Buddy, keep these counselors covered. Get the dynamo room. I said the dynamo room, Kane. See for yourself, Prince Stellan. Those steel caps they're wearing are amnesia helmets, an invention of Kane's scientists to rob men of their minds and their will. But this is incredible. Nevertheless, Talon, it's true. Now do you know why we are fighting this man? Who is your leader? I shall be glad to treat with him. That's a very handsome gesture, Prince Talon. But how do you and Rogers plan to leave my city? You will be arrested by my guards before you can leave the palace. I've taken care of that, King. Buddy, toss me that degravity belt. A degravity belt? I don't understand. It's a device we use here on Earth. It's really an outgrowth of the old parachute. Put it on, Kevin. Oh, I see. Buddy. Out the window you go, you two. Well, how about you, Buck? Never mind about me. Surely you must see that a treaty with Killer Kane will result only in your prince's death and the subjugation of your people. May I, who first suggested surrender, now withdraw my plea. Let us abide by our treaty with the people of the Hidden City and fight Killer Kane. And you? I, too, cast my vote for war. Thank you. 